everybody I hope you're having a nice day so today I'm going to show you my makes um, for April um, obviously they're going to be on the mannequin rather than on me because they don't fit me so this is really strange it's the first video where I've been doing this and I haven't actually worn them so I'm sorry about that but I'm currently um, almost a week away from my due date and I'm enormous and I would not fit into anything that we have made. Now, um, I say we have made, or I have made, but I haven't made any of these, I'm really sorry. But um, it turns out I can't sit at the sewing machine very comfortably anymore, and I get really bad backache. So I haven't been able to do any of the sewing this month. Um, but Lisa very kindly stepped in and has made all three garments, so at least I have something to show you. Um, but yeah, I feel a bit like a fraud because this is like my April makes video, but I haven't made them. But I think the best thing is to be honest and um, say that, you know, hands up, it wasn't me. So, but I can still talk through them and what I think of them and what she's done um, and show you them. So first I've got the silk cami, which um, I'm going to move to the side. So the silk cami is basically, this is the standard silk cami. I think she made me a 10. It's really hard to know what size I'm going to be because um, I assume my bust will be bigger but hopefully the rest of me um, will not be that much. I mean my tummy is going to be bigger but this is quite loose here so um, yeah that's the size we made just to accommodate the fuller bust and um, this is the tie so it's basically what she's done is she's just extended up so from taking the shape just drawing the shape up into this kind of can you see there into that a nice sort of rounded point on both sides and then you can just tie and obviously you can tie it at whichever height feels right so if you actually wanted it a bit lower or a bit higher you could do that obviously then your armhole is going to get smaller or bigger um, and the idea is that this would be easy for breastfeeding um, I guess I mean it might be a bit of a faff to untie that but you can get you can get in there so it might work <laughs> we will see I shall report back um, and um, yeah but also I just think it's really pretty I mean you know breastfeeding or not breastfeeding that's a really pretty um, little tie feature so it's quite a nice little hack to do on the silk cami and really easy to do um, so yeah just carry on your line up and I think just to give you a rough idea of how much she's added it looks like about 15 centimeters to me so 15 centimeters on the front and the back or around that between 10 and 15 so that you've got enough to tie basically um, and I think it's lovely in this fabric I love this fabric it's kind of vintagey and I can see myself wearing it in jeans let me hold it up so you can see there she is um, but yeah looking forward to wearing that um, I think that was a success okay on to the next one so next up is the Ren dress made out of this gorgeous um, jersey and um, yeah I think it looks really pretty it's so basically changes that have been made I asked Lisa to bag this out rather than just hem it because I do think that this band needs a bit more strength than just a hem especially when you're using a viscose jersey which is quite stretchy so she bagged that out so that that's double thickness um, and um, yeah, the sleeves are sort of just the, sh the shorter sleeve to kind of there, but I do quite like it when they're slightly longer, but obviously we're coming into summer, so that's just the standard that you get in the pattern. And then the seam on the um, waist, it's already quite high this seam, but it is, um, we haven't, like we did raise up slightly last time, but it's not been raised up, so um, it's just what the standard is. And I think that will be quite short on me because I'm quite long in the body, but um, I'm sure it will still be pretty. And then I'm holding her up like this so you can see. That's the length. It's quite a short dress actually, but I think as a nice little day summer dress that will be lovely. And hopefully easy access too. So um, yeah, I look forward to wearing that. And I think this will be one of the, hopefully a dress that I'll be able to wear quite quickly because it's so soft and stretchy and yeah will be comfortable to wear I'm sure um, and if it's still cold I think I could wear it with some dark with some blue tights probably it'd be quite pretty 
So yeah, I'm really pleased with it. Thank you, Lisa, I really like this. And definitely, guys, um, this fabric is perfect for that kind of make. But you could also make the molly top out of it or the ultimate wrap dress. Um, yeah, that would, those would be nice. I'm trying to think what else you could. But those definitely would be nice with it. So last up is the Rita dress. Now I'm really sad that I didn't get to make this because I really wanted to um, follow their pattern. But Lisa did tell me some things that she thought were great about it. Um, so I'm just gonna talk you through it and show you as well what it's like. So here you can see um, it's got these lovely patch pockets, which I don't know if you can see very clearly in the camera, but um, it's got these little pleat details in the patch pockets. It's got a channel at the waist and I've just threaded this cord in there and the length, it looks like it's maxi dress length but it's actually midi length so I'll be interested to see where that comes to me so I'm quite tall but I think that probably will be sort of mid calf so and then it's got a really nice turn up at the sleeve that's actually stitched with an edge stitch all the way around and then quite a classic collar which is lovely um, and apparently they have a really nice little technique and I did read the instructions after Lisa told me so when they're when you're stitching the collar together it, it, it tells you to do the stitches at the point of the collar a couple a couple a sort of a diagonal angle rather than just pivoting on um, that point and that gives you a really nice corner so that's a really nice little tip that they've given you in there and then the channel just open this out so basically sorry it's a bit low let me see if I can raise that down there we go so you can see so the channel um, is basically got buttonholes at the front and it's actually they recommend you stitch on with the ribbon so the channel is not stitched um, with seam allowance because there isn't actually a seam at that point it's just you top stitch on a ribbon on the inside which is quite a nice feature as well I think um, so and then it's just buttons all the way down. Obviously you don't put a button where um, the channel is. And then you can use a ribbon or a cord. I think in the one that's on the website, they have a rope, which is why I wanted to get a cord because I thought that was quite pretty um, and a bit different. Um, but I need to do something with the ends. Plus I haven't, I haven't cut it yet. I've left it quite long. But I need to either burn them or um, put some wax on them so that they don't, don't fray any further. Um, in terms of the size, we made a size 10, which for me should be um, a little bit roomier for um, post-birth, <laughs> but also it's not meant to be an overly fitted dress anyway, so um, um, yeah. Um, and generally the instructions, I'm going to put this back up so you can see. Sorry, I just put that back up so you can see my head a bit better. The instructions were really clear. They have a really nice kind of general glossary at the front, which just refers to things that they might be talking about, which is really useful. And, um, and then the um, general instructions, they're really nice and clear, lots of lovely illustrations, but definitely not a beginner's pattern. This, certainly with rayon, making a patch pocket this neat is very tricky. Lisa's done an amazing job of it, but I wouldn't recommend doing um, yeah, that in rayon if you're new to doing patch pockets. But it's, uh, yeah, I'd say intermediate pattern, but it's lovely. I can't wait to wear it. And it's definitely my favorite of the three makes this, um, this month. So yeah, I think the fabric as well. I don't know if we've still got any of this left, but if there is, the girls will make sure they link to it in the comments. But um, I think this fabric's great for it and hopefully quite flattering because it's dark. Um, but with a flash of colour. So I'm hoping I'll be able to wear this with my flip-flops or something like that and have it just as a nice day dress. Oh, I didn't show you, this at the sides it's got really nice splits. So I just want you to know this is very light, this is not heavy for me to hold up. There's nice splits at the side there which I really like and then they match the last button that you put in at the centre front. So I think that's quite a nice feature as well. You just need some nice weather really. And then this will be a lovely summer day dress. So there we have it, guys. Those are my makes for April, or Lisa's makes for April, other Lisa. Um, so I don't know when I'm next going to do a video like this. Maybe in June. I doubt it will be me who's sewing, but um, we are going to still keep stuff coming to you. So obviously I've pre-recorded lots of other things that are coming, but um, in terms of makes and fabric hauls and that sort of thing, 
give me a couple of months and then I hope to be back on doing that um, certainly recording the videos I'm just not sure if I'll be making things um, that soon but yeah we still want to make sure that there's some interesting inspirational makes coming your way so whether I've made them or whether Lisa's made them they will be coming your way over the summer but that is it for this week guys I'm well into my maternity leave now well by about three or four days and I'm really enjoying it um, and um, yeah today my mum's coming down from York and we're gonna have a nice day together but just having a nice lunch and hanging out together anyway guys I hope you all have a lovely week and I will see you soon bye <laughs>